What's up CW fans? I'm going to be doing a couple of videos on N1MM and that is a logging software. I'm going to specifically talk about how we're going to use it for CW operations, but I wanted to maybe take a step back and let everybody know what exactly N1MM is and how you can use it. So it looks like this. There are a bunch of windows that are customizable and move and you can move them around. And what it is, uh, it allows you to log contacts. You can use it as a contact logging software, although it is optimized for contesting. What you can do is you can set up your radio to interface with N1MM via serial capabilities and get the readout of what frequency you're on and when you log contacts you don't have to worry about putting in what frequency or mode you are in so you can connect it to your radio via serial port via the cat um, te uh, technology which I think I have a video out there on that and um, you can also key your radio which I have a video about keying your radio with N1MM also so you've got the ability to key your radio as well as interface with your radio. You also have the ability to do things like connect to the DX packet cluster. So that's going to be another video I'm going to do on what exactly that is and why that's important. And uh, the, the really cool thing is you've got the ability to take this logging uh, program and the logs that you create by the contests that you work or just by the general logging that you might do and you can output those to either A, submit a log to a contest, uh, like one of the sponsors of the contest, like ARRL or CQ. And you can also export an ADI file, which allows you to upload things to like the QRZ logging program or the logbook of the world. So really versatile software. I would say it's optimized for contesting. A lot of what I'm going to do is going to be contesting related. So some folks have asked, why would I use the computer to key CW um, just you know for contacts? Well, in the contesting environment, if you don't do that, you're going to get arm fatigue really fast because you're calling CQ quite a lot, especially if you're calling CQ and you're running. So you'll want to set up your computer to do CW keying, and you can do that with N1MM. You can also do it with a lot of other software packages out there, but N1MM is really the gold standard and what so many people use around the world for computer logging, specifically on contesting. So that's uh, what I'm going to be covering with N1MM and some of the videos on N1MM and how to use N1MM. So keep an eye out for some of those videos and uh, I might even have a link or two here to some of the next N1MM videos specifically for CW and CW Keen. I am also going to have a video for the uh, the thing, it's called Telnet in N1MM. I'll talk about what that is, why that is called that, but it is really the packet cluster and how you get feeds of information on where stations are on the band when you run into contest or even when you're not running a contest. All right, CW on, my friends.